Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into a very exciting LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog news video. Today we're looking at a bunch of sets here for August the 1st. I was getting ready to do June sets, and then LEGO's like, here, just, just take a look at all the August ones. So here we go. We've got a lot to go through, so if you want, there's time codes down below, but we'll start with the first one, which is set number 76997. This is the Tails's adventure boat this is going to be retailing for 54.99 usd has 393 pieces i think this looks like a really fun set uh my friend pen plays a really big sonic fan he helped me out with a bunch of this stuff so he's saying here that this is not a canon sort of idea or vehicle if you look at the side of the boat it says the sea fox 2 and if I, you know, doing a little bit of research here, you could see that this is the first Sea Fox. So I think this looks really cool. I love the idea of this. It's a fun little playset, and I think that the top deck there, where Tails is, looks like a lot of fun. You've got that same cylinder that the first wave of Sonic sets introduced, but this time it's been recolored in trans orange there in the front, and just the shape and everything here for the ship. Is a lot of fun you can actually launch of course the ball out and have that spinning i think that's really great if you see in the back uh sonic's actually parasailing that's really fun i love how he's got the skis there and just that whole pieces and everything there that's attached to the actual boat i think is great in behind there's a small little build there and that looks great small little expansion for you i like the different rings and everything the shield power up is great the sonic palm tree as per usual is amazing You've got a soda, binoculars, a chili cheese dog with a bottle of ketchup and mustard there as well. Now, when it comes to the figures, that is a brand new expression for Tails with the winking expression. Looks great. I don't think anything new for Sonic. I guess technically the life jacket. But then the enemy there, that's name is Jaws. Again, huge shout out to my friend Pen Plays. Check him out. I'll link him down below who's helping me out a lot with this video. But Ed, yeah, I think that's a lot of fun. It looks like a fun little playset for you to have at the beach. But moving on now, we've got set number 76998. This is the Knuckles and the Master Emerald Shrine. This is going to be retailing for $34.99 USD. That is the exact same price as the other Knuckles set. And to me, this is a much better set. I think this looks awesome. It's got 325 pieces here. And the playset, I love that design there for the shrine it looks great i love the stairs going up just a little bit of environment there around for him to train looks great again that tree looks amazing you also got uh, some grapes growing there on like a vineyard that looks great because of course knuckles loves grapes i love how you've got a bunch of the different emeralds all around up at the top what's interesting is i'm pretty sure the idea for this is that you take the Master Emerald from the other set, and you actually place it there in the center. And I'm excited to see how that looks, but the concept of that, I, I kind of like when sets can combine and connect like that. However, that is a really expensive set, and like Knuckles is here anyways, but yeah, anyways, there's some draws to that set for sure. But anyways, back to this set, there is actually a little bit of an interior underneath the set. You can see on the back of the box where Knuckles can actually sleep, and there's a soda can there as well. You do have this little launcher there that Amy can hit with her hammer, and it actually flings it at the Egg Robo, who again looks amazing. I believe everything in these sets, by the way, there's no stickers. They should all be prints, and that looks great up there at the top. Just the whole arms and everything with the stud shooters. You've got a little bit of a print there on the, uh, I guess, the elbow of it. I like the jetpack in the back and just the legs and the shaping of all that. A lot of fun uh, when it comes to the figures. I don't think there's anything new there for Amy, but it would have been nice if she had a new expression like Tails and even here, Knuckles. He's actually got a new facial expression with an angry face there, which I think is good. Again, I like that there are variants across the different sets. It makes them a little bit more desirable, I guess, so you could express your figures different ways since obviously you can't turn around the heads. But I also feel like this set is a little too soon, but it does connect to the other one, so I don't know. I think this is a fun set though for what it is. But let's move on to the last set here, which is set number 76999. This is the Supersonic versus Egg Drillster. Uh, this is going to be retailing for $79.99 USD and has 590 pieces. 
we'll just jump right to what the biggest draw for this set is and it is of course the supersonic which is great i love the idea of this the so far from what i can see from these limited pictures i think he looks phenomenal there really really cool and of course like some other past sets you do have a little launcher so that you can have him go and spin around there inside of that dome little circular piece looks great the rest of the set is kind of crazy so we'll start with the main vehicle and that is the egg drillster i really love what lego's done with this like it just looks so cool they've really amped this up and just looking at the size of the drill in the front with the yellow looks amazing. I love the shaping there. You could sort of see the, I guess, almost Eggman goggles with those transparent yellow pieces and the whole center bit there. Of course, you can detach him, I'm going to assume. It just looks like what you can do. I'm trying to see the lifestyle images. Boom. Look at that. The whole part there is able to detach and fly away with the egg launchers there too. I love that it's shooting eggs and you've got a thruster there, an exhaust in the back and the giant wheels just look so cool. I love that vehicle a lot. And then in the back there, we've got, uh, this is called Egg Pond and it looks pretty cool. Penn saying that it should have been orange instead of this. I think, yeah, definitely looking at the reference pictures, the new orange for 2024 would have worked better, but I get why they didn't do that because they'd have to recolor a bunch of pieces there. But Looks pretty cool. I love the print there and the different arms and everything. But coming on over here, we do have another uh, enemy here. This is the Gun Beetle. It's kind of cool. Definitely lacking some printing there, but looks pretty great regardless. And down below, this is where things get really crazy. You've got a shelf with a bunch of different, I guess, experiments, some eggs and some different equipment. You've got the shield bubble. And then on the desk there. And I, again, don't know too much about Sonic, but what I do know is this, the fact that they're referencing Maria Robotnik here, that's pretty insane. That's not something I think that I expected knowing what happens there or any other Sonic fan would have uh, expected to see, but that, that's awesome. Really cool. I like the seat there, even if Robotnik can't sit there. And then you've also got this wall that I'm guessing can be broken down now, but we do get shadow here in the set. And at least from this pictures here that I've got, I don't think that's anything new for him. Now that we've looked at the three sets, obviously could have used some new characters like Big the Cat, I know was something that I was really hoping would have been in that boat set. It would have just been so fun to have a little dock with him fishing, but there definitely could have been some more characters in here. Also, there is one other set, just, I didn't do a video talking about this, but just to throw this out there, we've got 77000, this is the Shadow the Hedgehog helmet bust sort of thing, it's an 18 plus set, retailing for $69.99 USD, has 720 pieces, it's going to be releasing on October the 1st, and this is because Sega has declared that this year is the year of Shadow, of course, you know, we've gotten a couple sets with him already, but then there's Sonic 3 coming out later this year. So I guess that's why he's getting his own uh, helmet or head there. So excited to see that. So be sure to subscribe, turn the bell notification so that you don't miss out on the reveal for that set, reviews for these sets, as well as please check out my friend Pen Plays who helped me out a lot with this video. And I'm so excited for these sets. Anyways, everyone, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. We'll see you all in the next one.